Oh, snap! It's another snap review from the family gamers. On your marks, get set, crawl! The snails are racing through the garden and over the wall. And over each other. Which snails will make it to the winner's podium? This is a snap review for Snail Sprint. Snail Sprint is a simple racing game dreamed up by Marie and Wilfred Fort and published by Haba. It's intended for two to four players, ages five to 99. And it probably lasts about 15 minutes. It's actually really fun. So, Mommy, let's talk about the art in this game. The snails are cute, and each one has a little bit of personality to it. The same color and shape combinations are consistent everywhere in the game. They're on the dice, they're on the board, and they're on the snails themselves. The box, which is actually a metal tin, has an attractive garden motif on the inside and on the outside. And it's used as part of the game, which is very cool. So, Elliot... How do the snails use the metal box in the game? They have magnet stickers on the bottom so they can go up the tin. And it's pretty cool when they do. Yep. So, Elliot, will you help talk about how to play Snail Sprint? Sure. What do we do first? At the beginning of the game, deal each player a card. Keep it secret. This card shows the three snails that you want to reach the winner's podium. Then what do we do? On your turn, roll the dice. Choose one die to represent the snail you'll move and the other to show where they'll move. You always have a choice. Unless you roll doubles. It's kind of annoying. Or if a snail is blocked. That's kind of annoying, too. Speaking of blocking, how do we block the snails? Well, you block a snail by using it for its color as a landing space. Land on top of it, and it's not going to be able to move until the snail on top moves off. Elliot, what happens when the snail's path reaches the wall? It's time to go up. The snails are magnetic, so they stick to the tin. There's also the colors on the outside of the tin. That's right. Keep rolling the dice and leapfrogging the snails over each other until three of them have reached the winner's podium at the end of the path. Then everyone reveals their cards and adds up their scores. The snail who won first place in the race gives three points to anyone who had them on their card. The snail in second gives two points. The snail in third gives one point. The player who got the most points wins! Yay! So let's talk about what we expected from Snail Sprint. It's a Haba game, so I was expecting it would be fun. I love it when games use their box as part of the game, like Dice Forge or Ice Cool. And I expected it to be something clever because it's Haba. I expected it to be a little kid game just from the art and the way it was presented. It sort of is, but there are still definitely decisions to be made, which I always like to see in a family game that little kids can play. Well, Anisha, what surprised us about Snail Sprint? Well, there's lots of things that surprised me about it. The first one is that our daughter Claire started calling it My First Downforce. It's like Downforce in that you can move any of the snails, depending on what you roll, and who you want to win is actually a secret. So you can try to push certain snails ahead or slow other snails down. I was also a little surprised that our kids took to it right away. It's so quick to get started playing this game we would often find them playing it together on the living room floor. It's quick to get started, but there's enough interest there for an older kid to have fun with it. We also discovered some clever graphic design. The symbols on the path around the outside of the tin are also on the inside of the tin, so you don't have to keep looking around to see what's available next. If on my side a snail is going up the tin, you can't actually see that snail, but you can tell from the inside of the tin what's coming next. I also noticed that if you were moving to blue and you were a blue snail, you would have the symbol of the blue. So it's colorblind friendly because it uses symbols and colors. Yeah. And the same symbols always go with the same colors. So I really enjoyed the fact that Snail Sprint allowed for a little bit of player agency. You could choose which snail you wanted to move to which color. And that allowed people to have some strategy. It wasn't 
a rote game. It was fun. There was anticipation when rolling those bones. And we had a blast playing. You also don't really know who wins until the very end, so there's always incentive to keep going. We think Snail Sprint is a great game for younger kids to play with their whole family. You just might find yourself disappointed when your kids pull it out to play without you. So Elliot, what are we going to rate Snail Sprint from Haba? I think we would rate it four and a half snails out of five. And that's Snail Sprint in a snap. snap.